This area is off limits to anyone not part of our organization, and you definitely don't look like anyone I know. I strongly suggest you egress to a rosier neighborhood. You copy? Damn right we've been smuggling refugees into the city. And yeah, we already know the hundred families don't like it. Tough shit. Did those cowards send you assholes to present their demands? Well, you can all go fuck yourselves. Come any closer, and we start shooting. Gotta hand it to you. Takes a lot of gumption, or a hell of a lot of stupidity to ignore my warnings and stroll into my camp. Unfortunately for you, I got the numbers advantage and the high ground. It's all over for you. Boys, you know what to do. They see us.
Did Mama Cotter send you? She's the one who set everything up. She arranged for the smugglers to pick us up here and sneak us into Colorado Springs. She was going to meet us at the gate and find us beds and food. I doubt she knew what bastard those smugglers were. They took everything we had as bonus payment. We're refugees, every one of us, driven off our land by the Plains gangs. Now we're stuck here with no food, but we'll probably freeze before we starve. We need transport to Colorado Springs or we're dead. We need to find someone who can carry all of us to the city, and soon. We're not going to last out here. To the city? Oy, Daisy's gonna love that. I've heard that merchant caravans stop at the bazaar. Maybe one of them could help us. But the monster army won't let us into the bazaar, and we don't have any money to pay for transport. You're the only hope we have. If we're stuck here much longer, I doubt we'll survive. We'll wait here and try to keep warm. Guns sanctified with blood, blood. Hot noodles! My friends! You saw that explosion too? Horrible! Such a waste of good pork. And human life, of course. But don't worry. Masato is here to offer aid and succor. Have you seen anything this delicious? Yes, yes, be my guest. After enjoying this bowl, know that my store is open to you. I have a variety of goods that you may find useful. A man who never eats pork is never a whole man. But I have to tell you, my friends, these noodles are a pale imitation of the real thing. The great pre-war delicacy. The rarest of rare magics. Instant ramen noodles. I hope one day I will perfect my recipe to recreate them. But enough about me. How can I be of service? Ah, you picked up on my subtle hint. Years ago, a friend in Colorado Springs gave me a package of instant ramen noodles that he had found in the Warrens underneath the bazaar. The experience changed my life forever, and I moved here in hopes of finding more. The Warrens aren't safe. I can't venture down there. But you must understand, 
It is as if my body is made of ramen. If you go down in the Warrens, please keep your eyes open for this rare delicacy. Peridolia Jones is the only caravan master here, but as luck would have it, he's also one of our best. He's right over there. Oh, how interesting. You mean a permanent position? A full kitchen of my own? My, my friends, that is quite the offer you're making me. You have my interest for sure. But as I explained to you, I'm here for a reason. Bring me the ramen noodles and I'll gladly join you at your HQ. Naturally. My store is always open to you, my friend. Howdy, ma'am. Howdy. Always good to see a Wesson. I see. Not my usual line of business, but I don't see why not. My normal rates would apply for a one-way transport. have a point there. Peridolia Jones, friend of the people. All right, I'll make sure they're part of my next caravan run to Colorado Springs. I'll send people to check up on them now. Just my services as a caravan master. I organize caravans to get people, goods, and livestock from one place to another. But I don't sell goods myself. These lands near Colorado Springs are pretty safe. But still, lots of people need help getting around. Especially if you want to range further than that. So long. calling the November Cowboys. You reading me out there, Caballeros? You all recovered from that big old Colorado welcome the Dorseys gave you? Ha! Ain't you nosy. Switch over to 27.065 megahertz. All will be revealed. Howdy, Rangers. Sorry about the clowning. Have to keep a low profile these days. This is your old pal Angie, otherwise known as Ranger Colonel Angela Death. Ha! Somebody remembers me. What do you know? Figured my name would be stricken from the record after me and my crew pulled our vanishing act. Wasn't our intent when command sent us out here to reconnoiter, but well, things took an unexpected turn. I'll bet. We came out here for the same reason as you, because Command was hoping they could make an alliance with the Patriarch and get some, uh, foreign aid. Trouble was, the more we snooped around, the more we realized that good old Pappy Buchanan was a bloody-handed dictator that the Rangers shouldn't have nothing to do with. <sighs> Unfortunately, Command didn't want to hear it. Told us they were going to make the deal anyway. Too desperate to be particular. We took a vote, the squad and me, and decided that just wasn't the Ranger way. Instead, we made a pact to take Buchanan down and help Colorado become the home of freedom that Arizona could have been if the Rangers hadn't lost the Citadel to Matthias. Heaven, darling. The Archangel Gabriel's just bringing me another pina colada. 
Why do you think? We want you on our side. But not without seeing for yourself that Buchanan's a conniving shitbag. That's why I was calling. There's a man you should talk to, locked up in an old bunker in Broadmoor Heights and guarded by mercs. So you may have to do a little shooting to get to him. But when you do, ask him about his beefs with the Patriarch. It'll open your eyes. His name is Ironclad Cordite, a warlord of the Eastern Plains, and one goddamn tough son of a bitch. As to how you find him, I'm a little shaky on the details, but I'm told there's a hidden hatch on some monument at Buchanan Park in Broadmoor Heights. And listen, when you do find him, bust him out of there and do what you can to keep him alive. He could help you with liberty later. Also, if you need more firepower, he's got a shotgun for a left arm. Gracias, compadres, and good luck. I'll be in touch. Dead red, over and out. I want to talk to Mama. She's the one in charge. The hell do you want from Mama Carter? Maybe so. Where are those refugees now? Shit. I knew I shouldn't have trusted those assholes, but they were the only ones who deal with me. Guess I know why they're so flexible on their price. <laughs> I owe you for keeping those refugees safe. Ain't nobody else around here who's willing to lift a finger for them. So, uh, what's it gonna be, hmm? You know I was breaking the city's law, conspiring with smugglers and all that. You gonna haul me in? She'll be safe in the Ranger lockup. Reyes would want her in jail. He's a powerful man to have as a friend. And the Rangers could use some powerful friends. Well, am I under arrest? Oh, no, you ain't. You'll have to go through us first. Stand down, Bobby. 
These are the same folks who shot up the door season the Garden of the Gods. They must have killed Stenerud and his smugglers, too. We don't stand a chance against them. This ain't worth the lives of my boys. I'll go quietly. Copy, November 1. This is Ranger HQ. What's your status? Old Mama Cotter? A criminal? <laughs> Who would have thought? Dispatching a squad, over and out. Thank you for your service, Rangers. I heard Mr. Howe found himself a pretty blonde thing. Really? And what did his... I heard you were speaking to some people at the refugee camp. Do you have any news? Thank you. I'm glad this ended bloodlessly. You handled an impossible situation well, Rangers. At least this will give the city some breathing room. Our resources are stretched, but... I think we can feed the people who are already here. For now. As am I. Now for your reward. The money is here. And you may expect the mechanics I promised you to be waiting for you when you return to your headquarters. Also, one other thing. If you have me, I'd be happy to serve the Rangers as a political advisor. Honored even. You're quite a remarkable outfit. And I'd like to help you out. Excellent. Let me get some things together, then I'll head for your HQ. Looking forward to what we can accomplish together, Rangers.